Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to start the new topic an essay on men by alexander pope alexander pope was born on may 21 1688 in london and he died on may 30 1744 in twickham near london he was the poet and satirist of the english augustan period he was best known for his poems an essay on criticism the rape of the lock the dunciad and an essay on men he is one of the most epigrammatic of all english authors epigrams are basically one liners which are very witty and are very meaningful after shakespeare pope is the second most quoted writer in the english language per the oxford dictionary of quotations some of his verses have even become popular idioms in common phrasing he is considered a master of the heroic couplet couplet is the part of a poem that means two lines of each stanza which rhyme and heroic couplet means the two lines which rhyme and have their own individual meaning a complete message while they are also the part of the poem an essay on men is a poem or epistle or letters published by alexander pope in 1733 and in 1734 it was dedicated to henry st john first viscount bolingbroke he was the politician and the friend of alexander pope it is an effort to rationalize or rather vindicate the ways of god to men in this poem alexander pope tries to justify the ways of god to men it is concerned with the natural order god has commanded or created for men because men cannot know god's purposes he cannot complain about his position in the great chain of being and must accept that whatever is is right in other words we should accept our destiny fear death and live according to the terms of god who is the creator and controller of this universe in this theme of the poem or the epistles alexander pope tries to clear one concept which was very popular in his society in his times that what is the purpose of men in this world and who is the creator of this universe so according to alexander pope the god exist and he is the only one who actually created the whole universe and in this universe he created a chain of beings it starts with the angels and then comes the human beings and then animals each of the being is given the wisdom and knowledge of their existence according to their own intelligence man is given the knowledge of animals because animals are not given that much intelligence or they can't bear what is going to happen to them in future life human beings are given the knowledge of their own but they are not given the knowledge of their own future and there is a reason behind it according to alexander pope not knowing your future is a gift because then you hope and hope in itself is a gift from god human beings hope to have good future or good life ahead so that's why their future is kept hidden from them but this knowledge is given to angels because they have to perform certain duties given by god to them so alexander pope says that man cannot challenge or question god of his existence in the chain of being neither he can know the future which is already written by god but what he can do is that to have a hope to have a better life ahead then comes another concept and that is the concept of death according to alexander pope the death is a great teacher in itself because after death we are going to face 
the consequences of what we have done in this earth so god has created life and the death is also the part of the reality which is an equally balanced positions and god has created this these positions one after another you can see in this picture that as much as life is the reality made by god he has also created the death which is the other part of the reality we are existing half over here and we are going to face the half in the other world so we should fear death and we should accept our destiny and we should live according to the terms of god who is the creator and controller of this world and universe more than any other work of alexander pope this poem was has the popularized optimistic philosophy which actually runs through england and the rest of the europe giving them hope and also lifting of them from this concept or this notion that why we have uh, what is the meaning of existence of man in this earth so this was the popular idea of that time alexander pope in his poem or in his this epistle an essay on man on the study of man's life and man he clears this concept this is for today